okay so let's move further and uh, obviously you know the next girl we want a small image of the rolex there at the center of this this will look pretty cool okay so how we can do that obviously we have to add an image there so i'll just go below this h1 and i'll add an image so img and hit tab and notice this saves us a lot of time and that is the reason why i asked you to install the emit it gives us so much ability to not bother about hey did you forget about the source or what the alt is so it saves us a lot of time in there so in the source i can simply say that i want to use an image of test dot jpg and notice in case you didn't notice that in our background actually oops there we go the colored death wheel there it's rotating it doesn't get recorded on my screen uh, but sometime while recording just pops up and delays the things okay Notice that this is a PNG image and this is a JPG image. So a common mistake uh, there, make sure you write it properly there. So if I save that and I'll say, uh, simply watch thumbnail. Okay, save that. Uh, notice, there we go, a big gigantic image there. All that looks good, but this doesn't match our page at all. Okay, so we need to fix this up. So first of all, we need to add a lot of classes in here. So first of all, let's get started with class. Okay. And in the image tag, I'll add up a class and I'll call this as, what should I call it? IMA for image. Let's just say IMA. Okay. And this IMA is going to be selected in our CSS. Come on, get selected. And let's just call this as dot IMA for images. I know that's a bare... Not a good name, but I just came up with that. I'm not proud on it, but yep, I did that. And let's just give it a fixed width and height. So height is going to be, let's just say 100 pixels. You can choose other heights and width as well. I'm going to be just choosing a height and width of 100 and 200 pixels. Okay, so now we have shrinked it down a little bit. I know that's not a good thing to do because we are playing with the proportions there. Uh, but again, uh, let's just say for this, we are doing it. Or how about 100 nope 100 is not at all not even close to good i'll go with the 200 this is much better okay so that's one thing so we have just written bare minimum css notice we have just written a height and width now rest of the thing that we'll be doing is through this classes at all that's the magic so first of all is img dash there are a lot of others like circle that you might haven't seen that i just it just doesn't work at all in here uh our is gonna work for sure it's gonna be thumbnail uh, that we are looking up in here and there we go we got a thumbnail there looks good but it's not at all center in here you can see it's not in center and how we can do the center now to do the center first of all we're gonna do use a trick we're gonna say this image is a block level element and just center that and to do so we are gonna say d block saying that yeah it's a block level element I know that's not true but we are just saying it and then we can use again an inbuilt property that says mx auto okay and makes it in center there we go cool and nice trick there now by the way in case you didn't notice that this is just one way of doing that there are there can be hundreds of ways to do so and one of them would be let's just say we are creating a new division uh, with the class of text uh, dash center and uh, in that we can just place a, a proper image there so img and i can simply say what is name test dot jpg and save that and uh, we haven't assigned anything in that let's assign a class there so that we can shrink it and see it so class equals ima save that and notice this is again shrinked so you can use uh, you can place it inside a division with a text center uh, property there and there we go obviously we can use another class if it look it doesn't look good is copy that and paste that again save that so there are a couple of ways you can just use these tricks to say that hey this is a block level element and use amex auto to center it or you can just give it another division there and say that this is going to be center and there are maybe uh, hundreds more to just do the same thing to achieve the exact same look that you're looking for and even if we shrink it it just stays there so it looks so soothing and so good and i'm gonna be just commenting this down because i don't use it i'll just keep that for you okay 
So this is our very first project that we have done in here. We have used some custom fonts from the Google. We have just placed a nice image. We have learned only that much about the image and we have learned a lot about these things. Notice this is H1, this is even bigger in the H1. And notice our CSS file. This is, I would call it bare minimum. Uh, some font element that we wanted in here, even though if you just remove these two guys, it's not gonna bother much. Uh, we are using a font text font so all i'm saying is it's a bare minimum css file and already bootstrap is doing everything for you so so awesome notice even the smaller size it looks so awesome and automatically responds to the different media sizes there okay so that is one good project that we have done and here comes the assignment part don't forget if you're following up the course you have to go with the assignment now what you have to do is go onto the pixabay and you have to search for coffee there Okay, there are hundreds and hundreds of images of the coffee. Choose any of them and uh, just use any of your software like a GIMP, which is free, maybe an online uh, version there, Canva or anything. Just make sure you also give a kind of opacity layer there for a rectangle there and just shade it out like blue, just shade it with a coffee color, okay? I want you to create exact same project, uh, but it should be saying we are coming with coffee okay i'm a coffee lover and i i'm expecting that you should be giving me uh, a simple project assignment there i'm we are coming with coffee okay i would be waiting for your uh, post there in the q a section you have to post a screenshot of this and if you're following me up definitely you should do that i'll be waiting for that and with this we are ready to rock and roll and learn more about the bootstrap this project is officially over